Well, hello again, and welcome to the VK60S Fun with Amateur Radio channel. Putting the fun back into Amateur Radio. I thought I'd uh, make the uh, the switching module for the uh, for the amplifier. Um, uh, there's a vacuum relay there uh, for switching the output. Uh, there's a copper braid there that will go to that goes down to the chassis. It's the RF input. That's the RF to the input stage. Um, that's what it looks like on the other side. So there's the RF out. There's the RF in. You can't get it mixed up. And there's the there's the keying line there. And I'll drill three holes in the back panel, and then just a larger hole, a larger hole, so those will uh, be accessible. I thought it was the easiest way of doing it, because it's otherwise I've got to work on the back panel all the time. So there we go, that's what it looks like inside. I've got a little relay down here, which is switching the other two relays. There's another relay there, that's switching the input, and there's the vacuum relay there, switching the output. So at the moment, Oh, there's the input there coming in here, there's the RF there, there's the ground, there's the RF going to the input socket, there's the RF going to the output socket, and the RF coming in, coming in through there like that. Now, doesn't look terribly far there, why isn't it full of ceramic insulators? Well, what you've got to bear in mind is that it doesn't even really need a vacuum relay, because at this point here, um, this is the output, of course, which is going to be tuned to 50 ohms. So even if I was in America and I was going to put 1500 watts into it, um, it'd only be 273 volt, uh, uh, 273 volts. You know, you're not talking about thousands of volts flying around, so it's not going to be a problem. Okay, it's a bit of braid out of some RG213 just to go down to the uh, go down to the chassis when this thing's bolted on the back panel. Um, and if I now go over to I'll turn it over. I've got a bloody tripod here, of course. So it's going to be a funny angle, I'm afraid. Oh, well, let's do it like that. Because then we can probably see the meter as well. Get we'll the meter in here as well. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> it's a bit already. Okay. So. <clears throat> right. So if I. If I now just get the meter probes, it's a bit Tommy Cooperish, this isn't it? Just like that. I'll just get these meter probes untangled from the rest of this spaghetti, and with it deactivated, I should be able to put this on ohms. Probably see that kicking over there. And if I go from the inner on this one to the inner on this one, there we go. So that's going straight through at the moment. That's not zeroed, of course. There's no resistance there. So if I go from the input, sorry, the output to the input, at the moment it's just switched through. There we go, switch through. So uh, if I then, I'll just show you what the uh, the current draw is. So I'm going to 150 milliamps, and then that. There we go. So I don't know if you can see that. It's a 250 milliamp scale. So that's 250, 200, 150, 100. That's 50. So that's drawing 50 milliamps. So that's going to be no problem at all for a, uh, a modern solid state radio uh, to pull down uh, 12 volts at um, uh, 50 milliamps. We'll key it. And when it's keyed, put that on there, like that. And now I go back to the resistance. It's a bit of glare on that meter. I hope that's not spoiling it, but there you go. I think you can see that. Okay, so now if I go from the inner to the inner, the open circuit. So from that inner there to the cable that goes to the tank coil, which is this black one here. Try and get it in focus. Black one here. There you go, so that's switching the output from the tank coil, it's going to be connected there, to that socket there. And this one, this is the RF input, because remember it's all modular this thing, so the, uh, tuning, the input tuning circuit is going to be a module. So that will go on to that, 
and that will go to there. Can you see that? With that glare on there. Sorry about the glare, but it's getting it's about five o'clock in the afternoon. I've been sort of working on this all afternoon. So there we go. So that's the switching module switching as it's supposed to do. So all I need to do now is uh, put the back on that and uh, just de-energise that relay. Let's put the back on that and there we go. That's the thing that's going to be bolted to the to the uh, to the back panel. And uh, these I've just got these. This is the 12 volt supply, which is going to go up through that grommet there to where that is and be soldered on there. And of course the PTT line will be plugging into there. Um, and uh, the braid will be going to the chassis, so this black wire connecting the neg of the 12 volt supply. So this is the neg and poles of the 12 volt supply. I've just hooked up to it just to just to test it basically. And the yellow one is the uh, is simulating the keying. So there we go. The switching module. As always, hope you found that interesting. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.